concern for public safety, tougher European laws and the increasing complexity of today's fixed electrical installations all underline the importance of a standard approach to testing. The International Electrotechnical Commission and the European Committee for Electrotechnical Standardization have stringent rules to ensure that installation work is properly undertaken and verified using appropriate instruments. But it's electrical contractors and engineers who are charged with carrying out the work, bearing the responsibility for verifying conformity, a demanding job. But one that just got easier, safer and more convenient. Introducing the Fluke 1650 series multifunction installation testers. The future for installation testing. This family of lightweight, easy to use test tools will redefine the way you perform all the electrical installation tests required for fixed installations in domestic, commercial and industrial premises. You can learn to use a Fluke multifunction tester in just minutes and then carry out tests in seconds. Many electrical contractors and engineers may already be familiar with IEC 60364, the international norm that specifies the requirements for fixed electrical installations in buildings and describes the tests to verify conformity. IEC 60364 is the base guidance document for installation testing practice from which local standards in Europe are developed. This video is not intended to replace or supersede these recognized standards, but to demonstrate how to use the Fluke Multifunction Installation Tester to get the job done thoroughly, safely and effectively. The 1650 series fully complies with EN 61557, the European norm covering the requirements for test equipment used in installation testing. Note that some tests are not shown in this video. If in any doubt, consult the appropriate standards publication. Please remember that only with the appropriate experience and training, safe clothing and the right test tools is a person considered competent to test installations to IEC 60364. Whilst testing is in progress, ensure that adequate precautions are taken to avoid damage or injury to people, equipment or property and ensure that unauthorised persons are kept away from danger. Before being put into service, Every installation must be visually inspected for any obvious violations or damage. The electrical testing can then commence using the ergonomically designed Fluke Multifunction Tester. There are three models to choose from. The 1651 is able to perform all the basic installation tests, whereas the 1652 has additional RCD test functions, and the 1653 also features a phase rotation function internal memory and a PC interface for extra convenience in documentation and reporting. The tests include measuring AC mains voltage level and frequency, measuring the minimum insulation resistance between phase and neutral and between phase and earth for each circuit, measuring the continuity of live and protective conductors by sourcing a 200 milliamp test current, measuring earth loop and line impedance to ensure that the combined impedance of the phase and ground conductors is sufficiently low to allow a circuit breaker to trip if there's a fault, and verifying the correct operation of residual current operated devices. The top of the range model, 1653, performs some additional tests, including carrying out a rapid check on the presence and sequence of all phases. This demonstration uses the top of the range, 1653, although all three models perform the basic tests required by IEC 60364. Here we are also using the model with internationally recognized symbols to designate the control functions. However, there is also a choice of five different languages available. The 1650 series multifunction testers can measure up to 500 volts AC. By simply setting the range and connecting the red colored live and green colored protective earth leads, the instrument simultaneously measures line voltage level 
and frequency. The large backlit display shows both measured voltage and frequency. A particularly useful and safety enhancing feature is the slim probe design with a remote test button. The user can concentrate fully on the measurement point, considerably reducing the risk of accidentally touching a live conductor. The integrity of insulation is critical for the safety of electrical installations. To test the effectiveness of insulation, its resistance must be measured between all live conductors and between each live conductor and earth. The test is performed by applying a voltage across the conductors and measuring the current flow. The 1650 directly displays the insulation resistance. The 1650 series generates selectable test voltages of 1000, 500, 250, 100, and uniquely for an installation tester of this type, 50 volts. A lower voltage of 50 volts is generally required for testing telecommunications installations. Before testing, it is necessary to disconnect equipment and take measures to prevent the test voltage damaging voltage sensitive devices such as dimmer switches, delay timers, and electronic starters for fluorescent lighting. To enhance safety, the 1650 has a live voltage indicator to warn users if a live voltage is still present. Testing is inhibited if a voltage is detected. To measure the insulation resistance between live conductors and earth, the complete installation must be switched off, all lamps removed and all equipment disconnected. All fuses must be left in, circuit breakers closed and final circuit switches closed as well. When taking a measurement, the dual display conveniently indicates both the insulation resistance and the test voltage. Note that systems with two-way switches must be tested with each switch in both positions. Large or complex installations with multiple circuits should be tested in subgroups with fewer outlets. The minimum insulation resistance is defined in IEC 60364 or the relevant national equivalent standard. Continuity tests verify the integrity of wiring and connections. One of the most common continuity tests is measuring the resistance of protective conductors. Disconnect conductors from all live sources or charged sources of energy before performing the continuity test. This involves first confirming the continuity of all protective conductors in the installation and then testing the main and supplementary bonding conductors. Lastly, all circuit conductors in the final circuit are also tested. As continuity testing measures very low resistances, the resistance of the test leads must be compensated for, especially when a long wander lead is used to extend the test leads. The 1650 has a time-saving auto-null feature that, by simply touching the test leads together and pressing the zero button, measures the test lead resistance and stores it even after the instrument has been switched off. In continuity mode, the 1650 can also be used for testing for correct polarity, which is particularly important where single pole switches and protective devices are used in an installation. Incorrect polarity results in parts of an installation remaining connected to a live phase conductor, even when a single pole switch is off or an overcurrent protection device has tripped. Polarity testing should be carried out on all accessories, such as Edison screw, and single contact bayonet light bulb holders. The earth loop impedance test measures the resistance of the path a fault current would take. The resistance must be low enough to allow sufficient current to flow to trip a circuit protection device such as a fuse or a miniature circuit breaker. This test can be carried out at the distribution board using three separate test leads or at a mains outlet using the lead fitted with a mains plug that is supplied with the instrument. 
This video shows a European standard plug, but countries that use a different style will be supplied with the appropriate plug. The basic loop impedance test measures between line and protective earth and displays the loop impedance in ohms. Measurements should be taken on all outlets of the circuit. It is also possible to measure the prospective fault current, designated PFC, and this appears in the lower part of the dual display. Determining the prospective fault current is important to ensure that the capability of fuses and overcurrent circuit breakers is not exceeded. The 1650 also measures the earth resistance component of the total loop resistance. Line impedance, that is the source impedance between line and neutral, or the line-to-line -line impedance in three-phase systems, can also be measured with the 1650. Measuring loop impedance can actually trip RCDs, preventing further measurement. The Fluke 1650 uses unique technology to ensure that it will not trip RCDs during loop testing. This means more consistent and highly repeatable results. This technology also allows a very short test period, considerably less than the time required by most installation testers. Residual current operated devices, or RCDs, are often fitted in electrical installations for additional protection. They detect currents flowing to earth that are too small to trigger overcurrent operated protective devices or blow fuses, but are still sufficient to cause a dangerous shock or generate enough heat to start a fire. Determining the RCD tripping time, measured in milliseconds, is carried out in the 1650 by inducing a fault current in the circuit. The tester actually performs a pretest to determine if the actual test will cause a fault voltage exceeding the 50 or 25 volt limit. To manually measure the tripping time, the RCD's trip current rating, the test current multiplier, the RCD type, and the test current phase setting are selected using the function buttons. Because some RCDs are more sensitive in one half cycle than the other, the test must be carried out for both zero and 180 degrees phase settings. The longest time should be recorded. To simplify testing, the 1652 and 1653 have an auto mode for measuring RCD tripping time. Six tests are automatically carried out in sequence. This saves time and effort by eliminating the need to keep returning to the installation tester after resetting a tripped RCD. The instrument senses when it has been reset and initiates the next test in the sequence. Results are held in temporary memory and viewed by stepping through with the arrow buttons. The 1653 also has internal memory for storing results for later recall. In addition to measuring trip time, the 1652 and 1653 can also measure RCD tripping current by gradually increasing an applied current until the RCD trips. This is commonly referred to as a ramp RCD test once again, the RCD trip current rating, RCD type, and test current phase must be selected before commencing the test. The main display shows the RCD trip current. Note that this instrument can also test time delayed and DC sensitive RCDs. TT systems rely upon a sound connection to earth, usually an earth rod driven into the ground, for protection against indirect contact electric shock. The resistance of the earth rod relative to ground must conform to recommendations laid down in any local code of practice for earthing. This can be measured using the tester with an optional accessory stake kit. Before testing, the earth rod must be disconnected from the installation Remember that under these circumstances the insulation has no earth protection, so earth resistance testing must not be carried out on a live system. Place two auxiliary electrodes in a straight line at the distance from the earth electrodes specified in the relevant local regulations. 
The test measures the earth resistance of the electrode. As an additional safety feature, it also detects the voltage between the auxiliary electrodes and if this exceeds 10 volts, the test is inhibited. The 1653 also tests the phase sequence of a three-phase system. By connecting the blue lead to L3, the green lead to L2, and the red lead to L1, and pressing test, the installation tester will indicate 1, 2, 3 if the phase sequence is correct, and 3, 2, 1 if it is incorrect. Up to 500 measurements can be stored in the 1653 installation tester, each memory location also containing the test function and selectable test conditions. This model also has an infrared port and adapter to enable the stored results to be uploaded to a computer for preparing professional documentation using FlukeView Forms software. Reports can be easily customised to suit individual requirements or standard formats can be used. As you have seen in this video, a 1650 series multifunction tester is ideal for verifying conformity to IEC 60364 and its national equivalents. It is also designed to make working with an electrical installation tester easier, more convenient and safe. Weighing in at under 1.2 kilograms, it's lightweight and extremely compact for comfortable all-day testing. It's safe too, thanks to the slim design probe with test button that makes testing hard to reach areas easier. These testers can also withstand a one meter drop and handle demanding field use. And their unique advanced loop measurement technology prevents RCDs from tripping and gives consistent readings. Readings that are easier to read under all circumstances thanks to the large format illuminated display. And talking of making things easy, the 1653 works with flexible software that simplifies the production of customized user reports. Fluke is the market leader in handheld test and measurement tools for virtually all applications. It's a range that includes digital multimeters, current clamp meters, contact and non-contact thermometers, power quality analyzers, voltage and continuity testers, insulation resistance testers, and a wide range of tools to serve the rapidly growing market of voice, data and video installations. For more information, contact your authorised Fluke distributor or visit our website for a virtual test drive of the Fluke 1650 series multifunction tester. Fluke, keeping your world up and running.